Hello friends and welcome. This is your host Dark Hostess and this is Dark Hostess World where I uh, cover all kinds of topics mainly political and religious and I even cover gaming because I do love gaming. But tonight I would like to talk about something that I never thought I would ever have to make a video about defending the roundness of the earth. Uh, many Christians and uh, people on the internet, I'm sure, have come across the Flat Earthers, the Flat Earth Society. Uh, one of the head people that seems to be pushing this who has, has a very popular YouTube channel, uh, Germanism, Ger Geranimism, I don't know. I can't stand the guy. I, I've tried to watch several of his videos, and uh, it, let me let me explain these this flat Earth business. Um, the flat Earth society, the flat Earth people, they have completely convinced themselves that the Earth is flat. I mean, it, it's hard to believe that they actually believe it, but I guess they do because they will defend it to the bitter end, and and they will not listen to any sound reasoning. Um, like I'll, I'll go through some facts here, you know, in this video about how the earth cannot be flat and they have all of these videos just flooded all over YouTube. I know that, uh, you're probably watching this video now and you could probably see right on the side, there's probably about 10 or uh, more videos just all uh, promoting flat earthness. It's just insanity. And another thing about the people that defend this flat earth notion, uh, um, you try to, to get into a debate with them about it. They go ballistic. I mean, it, it's just not, it's not even sanity anymore. Uh, they will resort to just calling you names and just, uh, even, even attacking your faith. A lot of uh, the places I run across these Flat earthers are in the like the Christian chat rooms. Uh, one I hang out in mainly every night is uh, the Hagman and Hagman Report. I highly recommend that show. That one of my favorite shows, and the chat room is amazing. It's all Christians. Uh, we can talk about you know most things you know, uh, but one thing that we can't talk about is flat Earth in the chat room. But there's always people coming in there constantly constantly trying to talk about flat earth and uh even uh people that i've known in the chat room for quite a while i know that they believe that the earth is flat and there's just no getting through to them they they uh an another thing about them also is they uh, act like they have the superior knowledge they act like they are so well studied and versed and uh most of them probably have never left their house. I, I would think that you would almost have to never leave your home to think that the earth is flat. Uh, you know, yes, yeah, yes, they did have some beliefs in like the uh, year 400 that the earth might be flat. Uh, but, you know, uh, that was a long time ago. And that, that was well before the advent of uh, modern technology. There are some things that I don't believe, uh, you know, that lie in the conspiracy theory realm, uh, such as landing on the moon. Uh, I'm not too sure that we landed on the moon. There is a, a plethora of evidence with modern technology, analyzing the old footage, and uh, also have to mention the Van Allen radiation belts, which is impossible to pass through. Uh, that is uh, what NASA is talking about today is uh, they're like, how are we, how are we going to get through the uh, Van Allen belts to get to the moon again or get to Mars? And it's like, hey, didn't you guys solve this in the 60s? Mm, maybe not. Uh, one of the main uh, proofs for that, I would believe, is the film footage. They just brought normal cameras up to the moon with normal 60s film. Very susceptible to damage, especially radiation. Uh, there, if you remember, there was a time at, at airports where there would be warnings about uh, putting your electronics or computer equipment or film or anything through a x-ray machine because it will cause all kinds of damage to the photos, if not completely delete them. So, uh, you know, that that's that. But I, I don't want to get off on uh, 
that the, the moon landings aren't real. You know, uh, that's for another video. I would like to stick to this uh, flat earth business for a while. So let's uh, get into a little bit about what these uh, flat earth society people believe. They believe uh, we've never been to space at all. They think that there is a glass dome above the earth. <laughs> they think that if you uh, shoot a rocket into space, it's going to hit the glass dome and explode. And we've never been to space. Uh, what they believe is, uh, I mean, you know, I, I don't believe we've landed on the moon, but I do believe we have been to space. Uh, how far we've gone, I don't know. Uh, you know, NASA, they've been caught, uh, you know, faking quite a few things. Uh, and uh, you can obvious videos out there of them uh you know faking gravitation gravitation you know f floating you know in zero gravity and there's videos of uh scuba divers you know outside the space shuttle <laughs> so you know there's there's some uh issues with that but to say that we've never gone to space is uh is just a leap too far for me uh you know and and the beliefs of the flat earth people they believe that the edge of the earth is uh, surrounded by ice. They, they, they think that we're in this ice ring and that the earth is uh, stationary. Uh, they also, <laughs> I mean, it, it's, it, it's it, to get to that point to where you believe these things, I mean, you have to really fool yourself and, and just block yourself off from all common sense, I think. I mean, you, you go in a, an airplane I mean, if, if you've been in an airplane before, it's quite easy to see that the Earth is uh, round. You know, the horizon drops in the distance. If you've ever seen uh, videos of genuinely flat places like Mirage Flats, which is supposed to be the flattest place on Earth, it's where they go and test all of the high-speed land vehicles. And it's where all of the land speed records have been made. And uh, you've seen it on TV a million times it's this you've seen it in commercials it's this very flat area but <laughs> it's not flat because you can see the curvature of the earth because it is so flat you can see the curvature of the earth and uh, these flat earthers you know them they, they keep pr producing these just ridiculous videos about you know, oh, look, at, I've seen this piece of land over here, and uh, it sure is flat. It's obvious proof. Uh, they, they, they call their uh, proof for their flat earth, and this uh, observational science. And uh, when we have real hard science that can completely blow the theory out of the water, if they would just open their eyes a little bit. You know, uh, look at the constellations, for instance. How do you explain that the constellations are in the northern hemisphere? And how do you also explain that when, you know, the, when the, as the Earth rotates, that they're also in the southern hemisphere? It, it would be a complete impossibility for the constellations to line up. If any of you guys would get into a, just a, a tad of astronomy and a, a tad of star position, positioning, then you would see, obviously, that it would be a complete impossibility for the Earth to be flat. Uh, you know, there's just so much proof for the contrary. Uh, one thing that, that's really got Christians going about this flat earthness is uh, they, they say, well, the, the, the Bible says the Earth is flat. No, 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 no. Nowhere in the Bible does it say the Earth is flat. It's uh, they make obscure references to uh, some scriptures, uh, like one one uh, verse says from the four corners of the earth, and they're like, "Well, <laughs> you see right there, the four corners of the earth." That's just a saying: north, south, east, west. That's the four corners. You know, it, it, it's it's just a saying. Uh, it doesn't mean anything it doesn't mean that there's actual four corners we use this saying today <laughs> and it's not because we believe the earth is flat another bible verse that is often quoted is uh revelation 6 verse 14 through 17 and it goes and the heaven departed as a scroll when it is rolled together 
and every mountain and island were moved out of their place. If, you know, you're missing how prophetic, I mean, how um, somebody thousands of years ago is describing space-time. If you study space-time, you will, one of the first things you learn about is uh, the flatness of space. I mean, the, the they call it the, uh, they actually, they call it the scroll of space in a lot of science circles. I guess it must maybe they're Bible believers, but uh, it, it's it's uh, it's it's as if we are on a plane, and it is as if the Earth is sitting on a sheet of paper, if you can look at it that way, and how like wormholes and you know you you hear about uh, you know transdimensional travel, and uh, what they uh, what they're talking about is is like as if space and time folded down on itself. And you go th from one point in space time through the wormhole and you end up, you know, thousands of light years and on the other side of space. And it is also, uh, you know, one of one of the uh, theories about gravity also is that, you know, we're on this flat plane of space and that there is as, as the weight of every object is, uh, you know, counted against that and it and, and things are pulled towards it. Uh, which brings me to another subject that the Flat Earth Society and Flat Earth people talk about is uh, gravity. They, they have no explanation for gravity. What they think about gravity is that we're in a constant upward travel, you know, through space, I believe, and uh, which would make no sense. I mean, uh, if we were going constantly up, 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 then how would the stars and, and everything not be moving as well? Uh, and they're like, oh, well, well, it's all moving up at the same sp speed, but it, it's just complete nonsense. Uh, if you get into any kind of physics, learn about gravity and centrifugal, centripetal force and uh, things like that, and, uh, it's pretty easy to explain gravity and explain away the wild theories of the flat earthers. Uh, it's just mind-boggling. Uh, I've tried to get my mind around why, you know, they're doing this or, you know, why these people are so persistent. I mean, it's it's like a mental illness in the Christian community almost. Uh, how many people are falling for this? I believe it's, it's uh, from Satan himself. I really believe that this theology and this uh, belief is meant to divide us uh, as you know, so many things Satan does, he will take an issue and use it to divide Christians, and such as the rapture and uh, things like that, you know. <laughs> and uh, this, this whole flat earth nonsense is just designed, I believe, by Satan. And also, uh, it, it could be a psyop, you know, from the, the Democrats and from the leftists, the globalists, you know, just to dumb down the Christian community or to make us look like fools. Because you're making all Christians look bad when you're out there saying, uh, the earth is flat, I swear it is. It's nonsense. And if you would just look a little harder, you would see that it's complete nonsense. Um, where to go next? Uh, I mean, it's just, I mean, it's just so crazy. I mean, I mean, to defend the, the roundness of the earth. It's just mind-boggling. You know, oh, God is very consistent. If, if God's anything, he doesn't change. Uh, that, that is one thing that the Bible does lay out. That the God does not change. And one thing that you notice is that the moon is round and the sun is round. You'll notice all the other planets are round. God would not make an odd planet all flat when he's made everything else spherical. It's, it's, uh, that goes against any knowledge of God. I mean, if you really know God, then you know that he is very consistent and he doesn't make, you know, sh variances such as that. I mean, that, that would be something that is just out of character for God. And, uh, you know, uh, such a deceptive, I mean, you know, people, people are like, well, in the end days, we will be deceived. Even the very elect will be, de be deceived, but. This is so easy to just blow out of the water that, you know, you people that are believing in this flat earth nonsense, you know, get out of your basement or wherever you're hiding 
and get out into the, into the world and you'll see that you know there's it's just impossible you know you can look at the night sky you can look at the sky and just see how the the roundness of the earth you know oh that's the dome <laughs> yeah all right let me offer a challenge to uh, maybe people out there have a little bit of cash uh, buy a weather balloon you know they're about a hundred or so dollars if you have a GoPro camera, tie it to that hot to that weather balloon, and uh, fill it with helium, and watch it go. There's several videos on YouTube of people that have done this, and they reach the you know the upper atmosphere, and it's plain as day that the Earth is round. And you can look at all the technology we have these days, and uh, to think that we couldn't even make it into space to photograph the earth that's just uh that's just crazy to me and another, another belief that they don't they don't believe in satellites yeah they believe that all communication is being done by weather balloons and they also believe that you know the communication is being done uh, through radio towers and things like that trust me they're satellites if you've ever owned a satellite tv and lost the signal then you know exactly you know that there's our satellites and it's just indisputable so this has been my little rant on this subject uh th this flat earthness is just it's 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 wrong you know it's it's a division of the christian community it's meant to like make christians look stupid <laughs> you know trust me on this i mean you know you, you go to a non-believer and you start talking about flat earths and and things like that they're going to think you're a freaking moron Read your Bible, know your Bible, so you can defend the real things of that need to be defended, such as salvation in Jesus Christ. That's what you should be preaching. You shouldn't be preaching to others and trying to convince them that the earth is flat. It's nonsense. And uh, I, I think people like Germanism and Geranism or whatever the hell his name is, I think people like that are just using this to make money. You know, they they've saw that they've got some heat you know, on their channel, and they've got some heat on their videos because of this, and, uh, you know, they're milking it, man. I mean, I, I don't even believe that this guy believes anything he's saying. He just knows that if he makes a video and just shows some scenery and just talks about bull for a while, that people will, you know, fall for it, and so many have. It, it's just mind-boggling how many people have fell for this flat earthness. Don't fall for it. This has been Darkosis, and thank you for being here. Thumbs up videos, and subscribe if you haven't. I will try to have out uh, at least one video a week. I'm trying to get more out as things settle down around here. So thanks a lot, guys. Take care.